I'm Joanne Myers, Director of Public Affairs Program. For almost 100 years now, the Carnegie Council has been the premier voice for ethics and international affairs. This month begins our annual fund drive. We hope you will consider to donate and donate generously so you can continue to watch these videos. Thank you for keeping the voices of ethics alive. The, the synthetic drugs are manufactured throughout Latin America. There was, there was a bust of a, of, a, of a methamphetamine, big methamphetamine operation in, in Argentina. And, you know, I, I don't mean this to say, I'm not trying to get at Mexico, I love Mexico. <laughs> but, you know, I think they, they arrested 18 people at this factory in Argentina, 13 happened to be Mexican. I mean, not because all Mexicans make methamphetamine, they just, they just happen to be very good at making this, the cartels make the best stuff, or best. Um, and um, so it's manufactured all over, um, it, and, and it gets stronger and stronger. The, the scientists are very competent at what they do, they know what they're doing, they're very good at it, um, and they refine it. The army um, do occasionally bust it, but it's, you know, why not, if not, why not? They, they do. Uh, they 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 tend to go for marijuana. They're always big marijuana halls, but that's not that's not the problem. I mean, it's it, um, and um, I mean there are conspiracy theorists who will say, well, the reason they don't is because they're they're part of it, um, and certainly the police forces are part of it, um, and um, you know that is, and I'm you know that that's I'm not the only person who suggests that that might be an answer. On the other hand, we must. Be, be clear for anyone who's Mexican here, and, 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 and you, sir, certainly, you know, there are some very straight, good cops in Mexico. There are some very straight, good colonels who want to crush these people, get rid of them, uh, purge the country of, of, of what's happening, roll it back at least. But, but you raise, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a literally a million dollar question. Um, the, 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 you, 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 for every 10, major, major drug lords arrested and paraded with all the guns and the packets of pills and whatever it is that they do. There's, 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 there's a maximum of one big bust on a factory. They, they, they got one in Monterey recently that was making methamphetamine. But um, they're, spe they're, mis they're spectacularly noticeable by their absence, these busts, and, and um, we don't know why, but there are theories, and the theories is that, is that um, they don't really want to. Um, I had an interesting conversation with, with President Calderon's sort of Flack, um, a bright woman, and she said, and on the record, um, uh, we, we understand that. that um, sorry, and I must, I must be careful. It's in the book, but I paraphrase because I can't remember the exact quote. But it is, you know, this is a war against the cartels, um, not against the drugs. We we we, we know that the drugs are going to. I, I, the quote is in the book from the shorthand, but it's it's it, the implication is, we know we can't really stop the drugs, but what we can try and do is stop the violence, wow. which is pretty frightening.